Hey gang, Wes Schlag here with The Hustle, reporting on the biggest biz news of the day. And boy, do I have some stories for you. You all know Spotify's mood playlists, right? If you're feeling good, you can go with happy hits. If you wake up on the wrong side of the bed, you can try Mood Booster to flip your frown. And of course, the Life Sucks playlist for those who read We're All Gonna Die in 2050. But what if I told you that Spotify takes all that mood data you're giving it and sells it to the multinational corporations of the world? According to The Baffler, that's exactly what's happening. It's being coined as emotional surveillance. Spotify acquired music intel firm Echo Nest in 2014 and found, unsurprisingly, that listeners curate daily playlists based on emotions and real-life moments. By 2016, they were selling all your feels to corporations so they can better target you in their ad campaigns. And four years later, Spotify's become the cool uncle you feel comfortable sharing your deepest feelings and emotions with. Anyway, enough about music. On to the important stuff. It's time to talk about an obsession within the ASMR community and how it's made one seafood lover a millionaire. Assuming it can be a verb, mukbanging is a combination of Korean words for eating and broadcasting that first became popular among Korean video streamers a decade ago, and more recently on YouTube. Now the sloppy slurping, smacking, and cracking of crab legs, lobster tails, and mussels on camera has made its way to the Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response Community, aka the official name of those wacky yet soothing whisper videos people go nuts for on YouTube. And Gaskin's the first to take the bait. Now, Gaskin's viral vids have earned her more than $1 million and brought on 1.8 million subscribers to her YouTube channel. She's become so successful that her husband, Nate, was able to leave his job at GE to become her manager. Now, moving on to another special sea creature, in court. It all started 15 years ago with California artist Matt Fury's iconic creation of Pepe the Frog. You all know him, the harmless anthropomorphic zine character that croaked the catchphrase, feels good, man. But the frog quickly became memed as the unauthorized mascot of the alt-right. Later, it was picked up by the conspiracy factory Infowars, and that's when Fury decided to sue. <laughs> On Monday, Alex Jones of Infowars agreed to pay Fury a measly 15 k for appropriating the frog, an outcome labeled as a victory by Fury's attorney. But that was down from the millions he originally filed for. And that does it for today, folks. Be sure to tune in to Newsy next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern for more of the Hustle Rundown. And make sure to sign up for the Hustle newsletter at thehustle.co for your daily dose of stories exactly like these.